so next we are going to see about uh, maximum allowable clock skew okay what is clock skew the skew uh, clock skew is nothing but the clock arrival time between uh, yeah between the flops is differing means we can say that the uh, clock is skewed right so in that we have seen uh, two scenarios second clock is skewed after uh, first clock or first clock is skewed after second clock right like okay now uh, some maximum allowable clock skew are there uh, useful skew we can say in that way so that is allowed it will not uh, create any problems for your circuit so okay so we are going to discuss about those things here look at here how much skew between c1 and c2 can be tolerated in the following circuit so here we are having two flops are uh, two flops um, uh, two flops are connected okay uh, both are uh, having uh, c1 and c2 okay now if c2 is delayed after c1 we are considering this scenario okay in that case what will happen uh, look at here this is the clock 1 okay clock 1 uh this is the clock 2 both are positive edge triggered flop flops okay so mm, this is the uh, first uh, edge second edge between these two clocks we are having some delay are you able to see this one okay so this is known as a skew second clock is skewed right okay and uh, second thing we have to consider is setup and hold window this setup and hold window with respect to this positive edge okay now look at here uh, this is the propagation delay of flip flop from here this positive edge to this this distance after uh, after that uh, propagation delay only this flip flop will produce a uh, output right so that is what happening here okay we are having two flops two flops connected seriously yeah this is the output from uh, first uh, first flop q1 yeah that is directly connected to d uh, d uh, d2 we can take it in that way d2 so that's what they are trying to say here uh, show here okay now uh, we can increase this q some more amount how oh. look at here here this is anyway this is a fixed one right propagation delay of flip flop so still we are having some uh, some amount of time right so we can increase this q some more uh, time that is known as ma uh, maximum allowable skew allowable skew maximum we can extend up to this why you have to increase the skew which one no uh, no b b due to some uh, routing and all if you are inserting you want to increase the st signal strength in those scenario you may insert a buffer right okay. so due to that uh, it may create skew skew but that skew is exceed this amount means it will create some problem okay that's what in this diagram they are showing if you compare these two diagram what's happening this is a propagation delay of flop okay so after that only it will going to produce some uh, uh, original data right now look at here this is a clock skew is delayed by this amount now we can increase that clock skew up to this much if you look at uh, the propagation delay and hold the time here we are having gap we don't have that gap that gap is covered by this skew so this is the skew we can maximum increase so this is what happening okay now uh, look at here if you want to uh, increase s further means what will happen it will end up with the metastable state mm -hmm. are you able to see here this is the propagation delay still you want to increase that skew here eh? because of that it's a, uh, exceeding outside so it will end up with maximum set uh, sorry metastable state so this is the maximum allowable skew we can increase up to this only right so how we can uh, say it in formula that propagation delay should be greater than or equal to t hold time plus q right or else if you want to uh, rephrase this formula we can say in that way skew should be less than propagation delay of flip flop minus hold time okay so this is the uh, formula for uh, maximum allowable frequency is skew getting 
less than or equal to okay if it is equal to means that is a maximum so this is a range less than that okay okay next we are going to consider one more uh, example here how does additional delay between the flip flops affect the skew calculation if you look at that uh, previous uh, example here we don't have anything in this uh, anything between uh, these two flip flops but now what we are going to have we are going to have one uh, additional combo logic between the flip flops now this addition of new co combo logic how this addition of new combo logic will going to affect the maximum allowable frequency q okay now we're going to see this one look at here this is a here what is what is the scenario skew c2 is skewed after c1 right you look at here the clock one and clock two delay okay if skew is not there means both will reach the both will get the clock at the same time but because of that skew you are getting the clock here okay now why it is delayed because of this skew tsk tsk okay and this is the propagation delay propagation delay of first flop clock to q okay so now look at here uh, q1 is equal to d2 if there is no no delay means we will get the q1 at the same time right but here we are having mux so what will happen because of that mux it is further delayed it's delayed sometime right yeah. this uh, yeah we'll see that formula okay uh, because of that skew uh, sorry uh, that uh, combo logic you are uh, you are getting the output here right instead of getting here right this is the delay due to this mux now now what's happening yeah Hold the time. It is not possible to decrease hold the time. Hold the time, setup time, propagation delay of flip flop. All are fixed, you know. We can't touch anything. That is under uh, fixed one. Now we can play with this Q and all. Now uh, look at here how the formula is changing. This is the uh, without uh, any logic between these two flops. This is the formula. Now we have added this uh, combo logic because of that. What's happening? The T skew should be less than or equal to minimum propagation delay of this flop plus mux logic minus hold time hold time of this one so this is the maximum allowable skew for this circuit are getting this is what happening if you are adding combo between these two flops next summary of uh, this allowable clock skew summary uh, we have seen some uh, summary of clock skew and all right so actually uh, f uh, so far we have not added uh, the net uh, the delay produced by those wires right that is nothing but net delay okay if you look at this uh, diagram here we are here also we are having uh, two uh, sequential elements in between we are having some combo logic network okay now uh, we are uh, talking about uh, maximum allowable skew so here uh, second clock is skewed for some delay skewed second clock is uh, uh, delayed by delayed from the c1 so because of that what's happening this output from q1 uh,